Hello, this is Zanaris with 7th Gamers, and today I'm going to be covering something a little bit different from what I usually cover. I'm going to be covering how to edit a RimWorld save file. This is something I briefly covered in one of my previous gameplay videos, but um, I like to dedicate an actual video to just this. As you can see down at the bottom of the video, I have the save location to where you can actually locate your RimWorld saves. That is... Um, does need to be stated that obviously the user down there in brackets should be replaced with your username. I don't know what your username is. Hopefully you do. If you don't, um, contact whoever set up your computer, I guess. But um, RimWorld saves are very easy to work with. They present everything in a very editable format. And following that logic, it is possibly incredibly easy to break your game. But on that note, um, let's get started with this. Uh, you can open RimWorld saves in just your regular notepad. I would highly recommend something a little bit more robust. I'm personally using Notepad++ for this video. It handles the sheer number of lines and quantity of information much more smoothly. Uh, I'll probably put a, I'll have a link for that program in the description if you want to go download it and try it out. But uh, as you can see, I've gotten one of the saves open for one of the video one of the gameplays I was doing the other day, specifically the Rook Ruins save. Um, let's see what do I got here. See, this is ver game version two five four. This is not the Bravo patch or two five four B or however you want to say it. This is just the baseline .254 release. You can edit just about anything. Um, the m map info name should be whatever the save file was. You can edit them to be different. It causes absolutely no damage. Colony name. If you decide, hey, this was a really stupid name, you can go ahead and change it. Um, ticks to game over. As you can see, this one is already over. Hence the negative count here. All my colonists died. Raiders landed. This is uh, your letter stack. All the little infos you get in the game. Raiders landed. Buffalo Insane actually killed the Raider, if I recall correctly. Um, you can edit your resources. You could add resources you don't presently have. You can add them. I can make this... Ooh, 9,999,999. That is a lot of money. It also make the game much less fun. You can change the weather. I would be careful with this. There is a lot more involved in just the weather than this. And I am nowhere near capable enough to go into how to properly edit the weather. So I'm going to be skipping that for this one. And you have your research manager. Eventually, this will have many, many, many more projects. Considering how early the game is in development, you have seven, I think. Four, five, six, yep, seven. You can say you want to have everything researched. Well, I can make this to 22,000, which is the total cost of the project, and bam, suddenly I have it. That's really all there is to it. Um, for reference, in this save... I have everything already researched. You can see all these numbers are actually slightly above the the total cost. But nothing else changes. So let's stick with the save. Specifically because I have it open. Uh, you have your storyteller here. This is whoever you chose to tell your story in a way the game understands. Storyteller classic card is the tougher version of Cassandra. And let's see. I have a few things, a few saves open here. Where is it at? Classic Easy is Chill Cali Classic, I believe. I probably should open a, another one to see what all the other save ones were, but uh, I will check that out real quick before I put this up on YouTube and have it all in the description for you. So we have our research progress, our storyteller, incident cues. I don't have any cued incidents, so I don't really know what this does. 
I do not think I have anything. Nope, none there, and none there. The weather decider. Um, if I really wanted to, I could probably change this and cause some really interesting weather to happen. Until someone gets more in-depth on the suffering the game, I have no clue what the story state does. Like I said, this is a beginner's guide to how to edit these saves, so if it's beyond my limited ability to explain it, I'm not going to cover it. But, let's say... Let's see, reservation managers. Reservation managers are... Or reservations are things entities in the game world want to do. There is a lot of these. Or there's a few of them at least. I don't think I have that many things open on this map, so hence the short list. Designation managers. There is a thing here. Or there was a thing here. As you can see, there is a lot of these. Let's scroll down a bit. Oh, looks like I got past it faster than I expected. Map condition manager. Active conditions. As you can see right now, I've got an eclipse on this map. Uh, let's see if I get another one open. Um, I do not appear to have one on there. Maybe on here. Maybe. Does not look like it. But I did notice that on one of these, I had visitors. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I didn't go far enough down. That's why. You can actually edit visitors in. If I can find it again real quick. Visitor manager. Here we go. Visitor class. Trader. What do they do? Uh, what's their name? How long until they depart? What type of trader? So if you really want it, you can decide that I must have a slaver. So theoretically, you could edit in a um, bunch of traders come through. Although, I imagine there's probably a lot more involved with that, because as you can see, they've got money, food, metal, medicine, uranium on board, because this is an industrial trader, and they have various quantities thereof. And there's another trader down here, uh, Subdrive, he is an unnamed trader, apparently not important to denote this, what type of trader he is, which probably leads me to believe he might be a farmer trader. There's another industrial trader. Tutor, unused item name. Apparently, they're going to add a tutor. Interesting. Active map conditions. I think I already covered that. Rooms. There are a lot of rooms, so I'm just going to be scrolling for a while. So I find some. Uh, there is the end of the rooms, and here's the fog grid. As you can see, there's a lot of grid information here. I could scroll for a while. It's going to cover roofs, which have their own grid. The compressed things have their own grid, apparently, their own code, and things. Things are things. How to best describe things? Um, there's a lot of them. Everything is a thing. A wall is a thing. Dirt is a thing. Boom rats are a thing, squirrels are a thing, mufflows are things, raiders are things, visitors are things, travelers are things. Your chair is a thing. But I want to make this incredibly easy. If you are looking to find a specific living thing, control F, pull up the find, do a class, as you can see I've got class equals uh, quotation mark PA, find next. Pawns are living things. I could make the scroll go in. Actually, I'm not sure if I could. Someone said I can make the scroll go insane, but, uh. Hmm. So let's make this a little bit more complex here. Thing class. Boom rat, squirrel, boom rat, squirrel, boom rat, boom rat, squirrel, 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 boom rat, boom rat, boom rat. I'm going to eventually get to a living it or a dead colonist or something. There we go. Thing class pawn. I have a living colonist here. 
they are a pawn. They are specifically pawn number 13. This is their position. Uh, be careful editing this. You could potentially put them in a rock wall. Their team, they are a colonist. Specifically, they are the kind of pawn that is a colonist, and they are on the team colonist, which is your team. I can make Kelly named Sarah if I wanted to. Or I can name her Maggie. Or something silly. And I'm pretty sure the game will take it. Gender, age, are they carrying anything? No, they are not. Drawer. I do not know the exact number of bodies and heads this game has. Um, if some, I'm sure someone will eventually make a list, but you can change what your people look like. Uh, current health. Ticks to next heal. Apparently 450 is the default because they're at full health. Mind class. Um, they're human. Okay. And here we have their priorities and their priority list. Work priorities. You have the key list, what the priorities are, and the value list, what order they go in. See, I've got this set to default. You can edit these however you so choose. You can go into manual mode and make these whatever you want. Uh, let's see, current jobs. They're sleeping. Um, I'm guessing your problem changes these to uh, mining and farming and collecting and gathering. Be careful. Um, I mean... Obviously, if you completely break something, do not save the file directly. Do a save as. Save it as something else, and I'll cover that at the end of this. Specifically, how to save them so the game actually reads them. Uh, do they have any equipment? Uh, something silly up here, because I renamed this character. I think her name was Sally. Uh, has an M16. And it is a very good condition M16. And eventually... Apparently, they're going to add secondaries. Neat. Inventory. They have a door key. I don't know what that means. But okay. Food. They're eating something, maybe? Ooh, psychologies. Uh, loyalty base. They have a loyalty of 31. They have a... Happiness of 11, a fear of 31, environment is 40, openness is 72, not entirely sure what all that means. First three are pretty obvious. How loyal, how happy, and how fearful? I'm guessing condition of the environment and how cluttered it is. Thought handler. Uh, talk, 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 wounded. They ate nutrient paste. Oh, this is everything that affects them. As you see, something silly saw a lot of dead corpses. Or, well, I'd hope they're dead corpses anyways. Undead corpses would be very bad and a highly entertaining event. And thus concludes their psychology. Uh, I'm guessing there's a code in here for prisoners. And last time they talked. And what everybody has probably been waiting for. Skills. Every skill in the game and... Current level. And XP since last level. So if I wanted to, I could go in here and make this. Something ridiculous. Something ridiculous for something silly. Congratulations, you are expert at life. So let's just make all this 14. As I can, and I'm probably not going to save this anyways. Story, story items, not sure what that's for. Traits, currently mean nothing. I'm sure eventually there will be a list on everything, on different traits, what they do, how they work, what they mean, everything. And we're back to other things. I'm just going to take the little scroll bar here and scroll way down. Notice where I started. Way up here. Like I said, there's a lot of things.
In fact, thanks is the last thing in the save file. At line 172,901. Preference, things started at. Yeah, I can probably do this a little faster. Oh, too far. Uh, things for me started at line 3,864. That is 169,000 lines of things. But uh, that concludes our brief tutorial on how to edit the file. Now let's go cover really briefly how to save them. When you save these files, because I don't really mind if anybody sees what my save at. Okay, do not do what I just do and click save. So much for this one. We're going to go save as. And you're going to want to change this. If you save it as a TXT, the game will not recognize it. You must click all types, and after the file name, you must type .rim. And do not save it as the current one. Save it as new rook better or copy or something random. And then you can click save. And then the next time you go to load a save file in RimWorld, it will be on your list. And that is how to edit a save file in RimWorld. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time.